And new video just released tonight by the Atlanta Police Department related to the shooting at the future Public Safety Training Center in DeKalb County that left an activist dead and a Georgia State Patrol trooper wounded. That shooting left protester Manuel Tehran dead. And let's be clear here, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation says state troopers fired on Tehran after the protester shot and hit a trooper. Until tonight, this video has never ever be seen before. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sean Gables and I'm Rick Fulbaum and this comes at a time when the community is calling for more transparency along with an independent investigation into the shooting. Atlanta News First Tory Cooper joins us live from Atlanta Police Headquarters in Fulton County. Tory. Yeah, the Atlanta Police Department released four separate body camera videos to us tonight and the one you are about to see is the one that's catching our attention. <laughs> This is new body camera video released by the Atlanta Police Department from January 18th at the site of the future Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. <laughs> police say it shows the moments when Atlanta police officers responded to the protest over the construction of the facility in DeKalb County. Atlanta police appear to be approaching the scene when this happens. We've got to leave somebody to guard those machines. Okay. There's a tent right up here. Oh, it's unclear who is firing a weapon in this video, but state investigators say activist Teron Manuel fired a handgun at Georgia State Troopers first, wounding a GSP trooper who still has not been named. Police say GSP troopers, part of the task force, fired back, killing Teron. We are living a horror. It is a social shame that this happened. State investigators have tied the bullet fired at the state trooper to a gun owned by Tehran. Tehran's mother claims a private autopsy report shows GSP troopers shot Tehran at least 12 times. All Manuel wanted to do was to protect the forest. But medical examiners still have not released details on Tehran's death. Now we want to make it clear that this video is from Atlanta police officers, not GSP troopers who were involved in the actual shooting. As it stands right now, GSP troopers are not required to wear body cameras when responding to incidents like this. And lastly, I want to share this statement that was just sent to us from the Atlanta Police Department saying in part that they are shifting resources to the public safety training site to secure the property and protect the construction crew workers out there. We're going to continue to follow this story and share the very latest with you right here on Atlanta News First. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First. Tori, thank you. Again, if you'd like to see all four videos that were sent to us, we have all of the unedited, vid unedited videos, excuse me, posted right now on our website. You can watch them there.